Let's talk Tanya for the 19th of year. In yesterday's Tanya, we spoke about the tremendous love that God has for us and how God, in the process of creating the world, he had to um, make these huge contractions and push away his infinite light in order to make space for us because he wanted to have a relationship with us because he loves us and how we need to reciprocate that love for God. This idea actually is something that we focus on every single morning during the davening. In the morning davening, part of the davening is the Shema. And before the Shema, there are the two blessings of the Shema. The Shema is a mitzvah, and we know before we do a mitzvah, we make a blessing. Usually the blessing is we say, thank you, Hashem, for giving us the mitzvah to do X, Y, Z, whatever the mitzvah is. The Shema is also a mitzvah, and we have two blessings that we say beforehand in the davening, but the blessings don't make any mention of the Shema to the point that we have to wonder, why are these called the Brichos Kriya Shema? Why are these called the blessings of Shema? So Al Rebbe explains, the crux of the Shema is v'yahavta Hashem Aleikecha, is loving God. A whole davening is leading up to that point where we say that one should love God with all one's heart, with all one's soul, with all one's might. And hopefully when we're saying those words, we're not only saying those words, we're actually experiencing that love also. And specifically, the love that we're talking about is acknowledging that, that we do have different priorities in life. There are other things in life that we love. And nevertheless, we are committing that none of these things should distract us from our love for God. We say, Love God with all your heart. What does it mean with all your heart? So the Rebbe says, where is the heart of a person naturally drawn towards? Towards one's spouse, towards one's children. We have a natural love for our family. With all of our soul, with all of our life. Another important love that we have in our life is we love ourselves. Which as we know, our sages tell us, means that even if God, if, it, if your love for God requires you to use all of your money for God, we love our belongings. So we, we are pulled in life in different directions. There's the love we have for our family. There's the love we have for ourselves. There's our love that we have for acquiring things and the comforts of life. But none of these things can get in the way of our ultimate love, the love for God. And none of us can distract us from that love. That is where we're trying to get to during the Shema. But how do we get there? For this, we have the blessings of the Shema. The blessings of the Shema lead into the Shema. The first blessing before the Shema is all about the angels. We talk about the angels and their holiness and their purity and how they're consumed with this incredible love for God and the awe for God, and they're constantly on the ready to do whatever God wants of them. That's the first blessing. Then we move on to the second blessing. What is the second blessing? We start with the words, Ahavas oilam ahavtanu, God. Forget about the angels. You love us. You love us. Avas oilam, an, inter, an eternal love, but Alter Rebbe says it, it means not only an eternal love, avas oilam also can mean a love of the world, meaning you loved us so much that you created a world for us. You have a much greater compassion upon us than on the angels. You chose us. In fact, later on during that blessing, we say, Uvanu vacharta mikolam velashen God. You chose us from among all the nations. And as Alter Rebbe says, you know what God chose? Not our souls. Our souls are naturally holy. God doesn't need to choose the souls. God chose our bodies. God loves us. He chooses us. And once we focus on that, then when we get to the Shema and we say, Hafta, we're there, we're ready for it. We actually feel it. This is something that we focus on every single morning during our davening. And this hopefully leads us to have that incredible feeling of love for God. And where does that lead us? We have this love. What do we do with that love? That will be the topic of tomorrow's Let's Talk Tanya.